Hey everyone, it's the local lab back with some breaking news update from the world of AI and today, things are getting spicy. We're diving deep into the drama surrounding Stability AI, the company behind the popular stable diffusion image generation model. And if you're an artist, creator, or just love playing around with AI art, you're gonna want to hear this. So, for those who need a quick recap, Stability AI burst onto the scene, making waves with its revolutionary text to image models. They were valued at a whopping $1 billion. But behind the scenes, things weren't as rosy as they seem. Remember that saying, it takes money to make money. Well, Stability AI learned that the hard way, their financial forecast predicted a massive gap between revenue and costs, with expenses projected to hit $99 million in 2023 alone. Why you ask? Well, training and running these AI models requires immense computing power, and renting that power from cloud providers like Amazon and Google doesn't come cheap. To make matters worse, internal turmoil was brewing, Imad Mostak, the founder and CEO, stepped down in March 2024 amidst criticism of his management style and unfulfilled promises. This led to a leadership scramble, with interim co-CEOs stepping in to try and right the ship. Layoffs soon followed, affecting around 10% of their staff, as the company desperately tried to cut costs. But that's not all. Last year, Stability also found itself facing legal battles, including a lawsuit from Getty Images alleging copyright infringement in the training data used for their models. Talk about adding fuel to the fire. Adding another layer of complexity to this whole situation is the actual rollout of Stable Diffusion 3 itself. Stability first gave us a sneak peek back in February 2024, hyping it up as their most powerful model yet. But the full release has been slow and met with mixed reactions. Some users have been blown away by SD3 capabilities, while others have been disappointed by some strange limitations. For example, there have been widespread reports of issues generating images of people lying down or on grass, often resulting in some pretty bizarre limb deformities. Yeah, you heard that right. AI-generated contortionists are now a thing. It seems these quirks are due to increased safety alignment measures, which, while well-intentioned, haven't been perfectly implemented. Now, this is where things get really interesting for the AI art community. Civit AI, a popular platform for sharing and downloading AI art models, made the unprecedented decision to ban all Stable Diffusion 3 models from its platform. Why the drastic move, you ask? Well, it all boils down to concerns over Stable Diffusion 3's licensing agreement. Civit AI was worried that the agreement gave Stability excessive control over not only models directly trained on SD3, but also any models that used SD3 generated images in their datasets. Stability was quoted saying on their article, the concern is that from our current understanding, this license grants Stability AI too much power over the use of not only any models fine-tuned on SD3, but on any other models that include SD3 images in their datasets. This could be devastating for the community. Imagine, a year from now, a new owner of Stability could use this licensing agreement to demand takedowns or hefty fees from creators. It's a chilling thought. Civit AI, wanting to be absolutely sure, consulted with their legal team to get a clearer interpretation of the SD3 license. As you can see from the email, even the lawyers are saying that promoting SD3 with its current license would be severely irresponsible. This puts Civit AI in a tough spot. They want to support creators and the open source AI art community but not at the risk of exposing them to legal trouble. So, where do things stand now? SD3 remains banned on Civit AI. They've reached out to Stability AI for clarification and are hoping that with the recent leadership changes, 
a more open dialogue can be established. This situation highlights the growing pains of the AI world. As these powerful tools become more accessible, we need to figure out responsible ways to develop, share, and use them. What do you think about all of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more AI news and analysis. Until next time.